Hi everyone, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I've been shopping my new Goodwill and have found so many awesome garments. Some I'm wearing as they are and others like this skirt, I'm refashioning into something more modern and more my style. The skirt in its original form is an Eddie Bauer non-stretch denim maxi skirt. It has an elasticized waist with a drawstring, side slits, and an awesome embroidered hem. It's perfect for a refashion because it's basically two large rectangles of fabric sewn together at the sides. So after I ripped out the side seams and undid the waistband, I essentially had two narrow pieces of denim. For the pattern, I knew I wanted a dress, and due to the length of fabric I had, I knew I needed it to be knee length and without a waist seam. So I decided on Butterick 6447. This sheath dress features a lined yoke, cut out back, and closes with a button at the neck and a zipper at the lower back. Based on the finished garment measurements, I decided to add vertical fisheye darts to the back pieces so that it would fit closer through the waist and in my opinion, flatter my body better. There are four darts total and each one is one inch deep at the widest part. Okay, okay, let's get to the part you've all been waiting for, the big reveal. Here she is. Honestly, you guys, this is not only my favorite refashion of all time, it's one of my favorite makes of all time. I love how the fit is still somewhat relaxed, but it still flatters my body. And can we all just take a moment of silence for the open back design? If you ask me, it's just the right amount of openness. It doesn't feel too young for me and somehow has a maturity about it. The weight of the denim perfectly suits this shape and style lines, and it's thick enough that I can go braless without feeling super exposed. One fun detail that you can only get from a refashion is in the shoulders. See all of that dark denim? That's what I discovered when I undid the waistband and darts. It seems that the garment was bleached after it was sewn, creating a sort of tie-dye effect in some areas. But the real showstopper is the hem. I did end up having to shorten the finished length of the dress by almost three inches, just because I didn't have enough fabric, but the length gives the finished garment a cute, sassy vibe that I think suits the design well. The little belt is actually the drawstring from the old skirt, and I love that I was able to use that. In fact, the only part of the old skirt that I didn't use is the elastic, but I've added it to my stash and it will find its way into another garment someday. I looked up some embroidered denim fabrics on fabric.com and they cost roughly $12 per yard. I would need about one and a half yards to make this dress, meaning it would have cost me $18 I guess plus shipping, to make this dress from fabric. Skirts at my Goodwill are $3.99 plus tax, so I saved about $14. I also saved a garment from the landfill and have a conversation piece that I will love to brag about. So what do you guys think? How did I do? I hope this inspires you to try a refashion soon. They are honestly so much fun and really tap into a part of your creativity that normal sewing doesn't. Well, thanks for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.